students today let us see a problem from the generating function in particular how to use the method of generating function to solve a recurrence equation let me read the question an is equal to 4 an minus 1 minus 4 an minus 2 plus 4 power n for n are equal to 2 with the given initial values a naught is equal to 2 and a1 is equal to 8 so for the solution first of all let me rewrite the given recurrence equation that is the sequence a n terms i bring it to the left hand side and the other sequence 4 power n i bring it on the right hand side so i will get a n minus 4 a n minus 1 plus 4 a n minus 2 equal to 4 power n the first step is to multiply x power n both sides a n x power n a n minus 1 x power n a n minus 2 x power n 4 power x power n and we are given the values n greater or equal to 2 so let us make a summation from n is equal to 2 to infinity since we are given the value n greater or equal to 2 each term i take the summation n is equal to 2 to infinity that is what done in this step and when we take how this summation becomes generating function let me explain so since n is starting from 2 and here n minus 0 is there the difference between 2 and 0 is 2 so from the generating function we have to subtract two terms for better clarity you refer my tutor video on generating function tips you can easily understand the, this step and n minus 0 is there so raise it to the raise it uh, 0 raise it to the power of x and 4 is coming as usual look at these two things n is equal to 2 and here n minus 1 what is the difference between 1 and 2 is 1 so just subtract one term g of x minus a naught and this 1 will be go to the power of x so I write x power 1 is being multiplied outside plus <coughs> look at these two terms n is equal to 2 and here also n minus 2 so the difference between 2 and 2 is 0 so you need not subtract any term just g of x as it is and this 2 you bring it to the power of x so I will get x square here and n is equal to 2 to infinity 4 power n x power n a power n x power n is 1 by 1 minus a x and since it starts from 2 the first two terms I have to subtract minus 1 and minus 4 x I have to subtract and <clears throat> I am going to find out g of x in terms of x so let me combine the g of x terms on the left hand side so these are the three g of x terms let me combine it so one will come here minus 4 into x multiplied and, and come here plus 4 into x square multiplied and come here and the rest of the term I write it separately minus a naught minus a one x plus 4 a naught x and this is equal to 1 by 1 minus 4 x minus 1 minus 4 x right hand side as it is now <coughs> I am going to write, simplify the remaining, uh, so apply the initial values, a naught is equal to 2 and a1 is equal to 8. So here a naught I put 2, a1 I put 8 and here we got already minus 4 a naught, so sorry, plus 4 a naught, so we will get plus 8x. And this 8x and this 8x get cancelled, I bring it, this minus 2 to the right hand side, I will get plus 2 plus 2 minus 1 I simplify I get 1 and take LCM 1 minus 4x into 1 minus 4x plus 1 so 1 will come as it is now multiply these two 1 into 1 1 minus 4x into 1 minus 4x minus 4x into 1 minus 4x minus 4x into minus 4x plus 16x square and factorize this my 1 minus 4x plus 4x square as 1 minus 2x whole square if you know the factorization I think and bring it to the right hand side so we get g of x as a 
rational function in terms of x. Let us apply partial fraction method for this. This is a linear term, degree 1, so a by 1 minus 4x. Here we have linear term with degree 2, so b by 1 minus 2x plus c by 1 minus 2x whole square is the partial fraction. So take LCM and compare the numerator. The numerator on the left hand side is 2 minus 8x plus 16x square. When we take LCM, a into that 1 minus 2x whole square is missing plus 1, 1 minus 2x and 1, 1 minus 4x is missing write it here plus c into 1 minus 4x is missing write it here and find out the values at which that 1 minus 2x and 1 minus 4x vanishes these are the two points x equal to 1 by 2 and when we put x is equal to 1 by 2 we got c is equal to minus 2 and the other one when we put x is equal to 1 by 4 we got a is equal to 4 and to get the other value you just substitute any x value i put simplest x value 0 i got so b is equal to 0 not c is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 i got it and apply this a b c values we get in the generating function in the partial fraction we get this one a by 1 minus 4x, b is 0, leave it, c by 1 minus 2x whole square. And from this, you write the general term, refer my tips to generating function video again. So for 1 minus ax, a power n is the sequence. For 1 minus ax whole square, n plus 1, a power n is the sequence. So we get the final answer for the a n. And let us see another problem in the next video. Thank you.